Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a nifty little Python feature, which lets you use multiplication on things that aren't numbers. And I'm going to show you a few pitfalls of that, as well as how you can, I don't know, use it for cool stuff, I guess. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so for this, we're just going to be talking about Python. Uh, now, of course, you know that you can multiply numbers by using multiplication. I will type on the first one, so I did it twice. Uh, but a little known feature of Python is you can actually multiply strings. So if you have a string here and you multiply by five, you're going to get a string back where with the string value multiplied. Uh, and you can actually use this to you know, multiply longer strings and it'll just repeat whatever values in there. Uh, I occasionally find this useful for making, you know, very long uniform strings or just, uh, you know, like one, one thing that I've <laughs> done a few times is print a vertical line of equals for separators inside of a um, inside of console output or something like that. Um, but yeah, multiplying strings can be kind of useful for this. But you can actually multiply other types in Python as well, including lists and tuples. Uh, so if we do, for instance, a list containing one, we can multiply that by 10 and we get a list of length 10 that has that value in it. And we can do the same thing for a tuple as well. So you can see we can get this. Uh, but you got to be very careful when multiplying container types like this because each of the values inside of the container are, uh, they're not copied at all. They are just the same reference to the same value. And it works fine for immutable things like integers, strings, um, you know, true, false, none, etc. cetera. Uh, but if you have a container that contains some other container, you're actually gonna have many copies of the same thing. So if we do, uh, you know, a list containing a list containing zero and multiply that by 10. It may look like it has worked correctly. However, if we do, if we append to something inside of it, let's say list zero dot append two, this actually modifies every single list in there because they are all the same list. And I did a little video about uh, deep copies and shallow copies. I will link that in the description. A very similar problem to that there. So you gotta be kind of careful when you're multiplying uh, container types here. Now, of course, you can, uh, a better way to write this would be to say list equals zero for underscore in range 10. Uh, so this works similar to the multiplication, except you're going to end up with a bunch of different lists. So now if we do list zero that append two, uh, you'll see that it has only appended to the first list. And these are all their own separate list instances. You don't, <laughs> you don't have this kind of wacky behavior up here. And again, if you have a tuple that has that same dealio, uh, you're going to have the same problem here. So like tup zero dot append two, uh, that's still going to append to all of these inner lists as well. So, yep. Uh, and you can solve that by using, where did my comprehension go? <laughs> Man, all this code looks the same. Yeah, there we go. So you can solve this uh, similarly by using a comprehension by doing tup equals tuple uh, zero for underscore in range 10. And so now you have a tuple of length 10 and tup dot tup zero dot append two. And oops, you'll see here that it just depends on the verse list, which is great. Uh, but anyway, that's multiplying strings, lists, and tuples in Python. Uh, kind of a neat little feature, but again, watch out for <laughs> multiplying container types because you can end up in some strange situations that are a little unexpected. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.